from NPC characters to enemies to emulating entire human players in strategy games, artificial intelligence and video games stick together like glue. But can AI be more than just a punching bag? I had to know. I challenged you to make games about collaborating with artificial intelligence. You had three and a half days to make your games and you made over 1000 games. Collaborate with AI is by far the most difficult game jam theme I ever presented you with. So you were up for the challenge, you came up with some fantastic ideas. In Time Travel Factory you team up with a robot to reach the other side of the map. Teaming up is a puzzle game where your AI companion is unable to jump. You can carry and move springs and the robot can hack doors for you. What you managed to create in just three and a half days is more than impressive. In Collab or Red you team up with your red friends to explore a dark and dangerous maze. In this video I'm gonna show you the best games and my top 10. But before we get into that, here are some more honorable mentions. And this is a racing game where the AI drives the racing car and your job is to get it unstuck as quickly as possible when it messes up. Circuit Circus is a tower defense game where you can't choose where to place your turrets. Your job is to take care of the AI who does. You give it turrets and it places them for you. My New Best Friend is a puzzle game where you can give your dog AI commands like fetching the ball, stay or bringing the ball towards you. It has a lot of clever puzzles and I really did make a new best friend. In Roomba Out you are the dog and your goal is to get the stupid Roomba out of the house. <laughs> Whenever the Roomba touches something it turns right. Does this already qualify as an AI? We already had some heated arguments about this during the jam. What do you think? What's your definition of AI? Whatever it might be, keep in mind, participants only had three and a half days to make their games. That's not quite enough time to invent a new life form. In Artificial Unintelligence, you get to play the companion instead of the main character. Behind the screen is an escape room where you need to collaborate with an AI in order to escape. But the only way you can communicate with the AI is through this text chat. Alright. Most of you would probably agree that playing games together is a lot more fun than playing alone. But from the games I'm seeing here, I get the feeling that the sense of togetherness is something that can be created to a very surprising degree with AI characters. I mean, even better, I get to make friends and interact with characters that aren't even a thing in real life. The Card Dilemma is a collaborative card game where you try to keep both yourself as well as your opponent alive and experiencing things you can't experience in any other way that, in my opinion, is exactly what video games are for. As game developers, I see it as our duty to take this opportunity and make sure players get to make friends and interact with beings they would have never met any other way. Some of you took the road of simplicity and with great success, I must say. Something as simple as shooting a ball back and forth can be all it takes. When we get to something like a bouncing bunny head, perhaps that's where my definition of AI is not quite met anymore. Though I do have a lot of respect for the clean art style and polish. Gate Guide is Flappy Bird, but you control the gates instead of the spaceship. Training Simulation 02 is a puzzle game from the god perspective. You get to give the AI character commands and move the platforms around. There's a Billy Bob. I found it. Strange Dataset is a game where you get to be the AI. You're given some training data and based on that you need to classify some new images. Like for example, is this a cucumber rumbo? <gasps> I don't know! Killboy 9000 is a top-down shooter where your AI buddy does all of the shooting and all you have is a little stick. A little sticky! Quite fun and it even seems like it might be getting a full Steam release at some point. In this super well-themed game called Capitalist Picks Shall Fear Our Shadow People, all of the real actions happening on the walls. If you want to succeed at guiding the AI stick figure to the goal, you gotta think outside of the box. I specifically told you to interpret the theme in whatever way you want. You're clearly using AI here. I see both the A as well as the I. And you need both of them to solve some pretty clever puzzles. Look at that. In Robbery Plan, you plan a robbery and after that your AI burglar performs forms your plan. Here's another top-down shooter where you're not the one who does the shooting. I love the choice you made for the main character. We need more old people in video games. They are so badass. AI legs is a first-person shooter where you are not in control of your own legs. So you have to collaborate with your legs to shoot and find your way out. In true AI Vla, you have to protect your little robot from running into the water. It's a weird mixture of pathfinding, puzzles, crafting, resource management. Uh, how, how did you manage to fit all of that into one game? In Path Builder, you're not the one playing. You're the one building the platform. Forms. Tricky Keys 2 is a programming game where I guess you get to build the AI. There's a programming phase and a playing phase. In the programming phase you write the behavior for these little blocks and in the playing phase you play this little character here. Speaking of sequels, one of my favorite games from a previous Wowie Jam got a sequel. Teaching Bird! It's a choose your own adventure horror comedy. Start digging. <laughs> Pick a hole in, on the left and pile the dirt on the right. God, 
this game is so dark. There are a bunch of different endings. I don't want to spoil too much. Just try it out. It's pretty good. Robbie Runner is an endless runner where the main character is controlled by an AI. Your job is to guide and protect it by placing bridges and collectibles. Desert Golem has a similar concept. You protect an AI character by placing boxes. Help Ghosty has a similar concept. You protect an AI character by smashing objects into enemies. I always enjoy it when people are brave enough to make like very experimental stuff. Something that will be revered around the globe. Obliterate composition. I don't know what's going on in this game, but that's exactly why I like it. There's just something very satisfying about seeing something you've never seen before and trying to figure out how it works. So some of you managed to fit a full fleshed out story arc into your game with a beginning, boss fight and an end. Welcome Simon is a game about assembling robots and I gotta give props for the great art style, it looks fantastic. Discard Dungeon is a card game where your AI friend plays all of the cards for you. Your only job is to discard two cards at the beginning of each turn. After that, it's out of your control which one of these is gonna end up being played. In Waltu's Cooking Adventure you gotta prepare some special special substances in your van. You collaborate with a bunch of different NPC characters, including an AI that warns you when the police is about to arrive, cause that's when you gotta chill in front of your van to decrease your sassiness or something. Hold your current cook by leaving the RV and use the lounger to seem unsussy. Clever solution to use a pre-recorded video as a tutorial, I like that, good solution for a game jam. Crystalline Guard is the only game I've seen where you have to collaborate with the enemy AI instead of with a friendly companion. You gotta make enemies attack each other, knock each other out. The Orion Project is an incredibly clever puzzle game where you have to program little bots and make them carry out tasks for you. Here is a golfing game with an AI that helps you to get the most points possible. But I've been trained on thousands of games and in all of them you have to get as many points as possible. So this golf thing it must be the same. In Subprime Delivery you plan the pathing of your AI by placing little command blocks in the level. It's very satisfying when you get it right. Ruins is a puzzle game where you collaborate with your blue bot companion to reach the end of the level. And that's not even enough, you can also rotate the level. That in itself would have already made for a great game. I also love the art, like when you have a lot of stone or iron, adding a bit of vegetation and green stuff can be such a nice touch. Who said games had to be challenging and stressful? Cause in high plush sharks you just manufacture some shark plushies. You get to be creative, there are a couple of simple chores to take care of in your plushie store, you have a friendly AI co-worker who never complains, all in all a very chill and enjoyable experience. Now here's a game that under normal circumstances would not have made the cut for this video. I didn't want to make anything for my own game jam but you bullied me into it so there you go. It's called Draw with AB, it's a chill sandbox pixel art game where every time you place a pixel the AI gets to place a pixel too. It feels a bit like collaborating with a child where somebody's constantly messing up what you're doing but it makes for an interesting challenge and also some pretty interesting results. Speaking of results I think it's finally time we have a look at the very best games of this gem. This year I compiled my very own top 10 list, completely subjective. The game that was voted to the very first place by the community is Billy Bob Training Simulator. It's a very fun game with a fun art style. It's more or less a classical top-down shooter where you can upgrade your character in the shop, then you shoot some more enemies to earn more cash and repeat. I assume Billy Bob earned this game some sympathy points as well. For God's sake, I cannot work out where this Billy Bob meme came from. That being said, I have my own personal favorites, so here are my top 10 collaborations with AI. This is not Pac-Man, because this is reverse Pac-Man. You're one of the ghosts and you have to collaborate with the other ghosts to catch that pesky little point eater. But be careful, if Pac-Man catches one of those power-ups, he's gonna try to eat you. It feels surprisingly strategic and also collaborative, because you always need to pay close attention to where the other ghosts are. It makes great use of AI. The idea is fantastic. I did a quick Google search if anybody else has done this before. I couldn't find anything. I mean, let's be real, somebody probably has. But this is the first time I see it. So I'm seriously impressed and I love it. Necro King is a combat game where you build an army by resurrecting fallen enemies. It has a nice strategic component where the more graves are in your radius when you hit the resurrect button, the stronger the unit you get. You can't attack yourself, but you can heal your allies. This game has a really good overall package with good balancing, good music, good sounds. Great idea, great polish, I think it deserves the ninth place. In the eighth place I have Racia, a game that looks deceptively simple because it is. It's a game about two blocks, one of which is AI controlled, who need to help each other out in order to reach the end of the level. They both have slightly different abilities. The AI seems pretty smart, maybe part of that is because it also communicates with you using these little speech bubbles. It's simple, it feels collaborative, well done. Okay, this game is on the list because it's juicy, it's juicy as hell. You play as a little professor and you can make your AI bot smash towards you. The only problem, the bot can damage you as well, so you gotta make sure to get out of the way on time. I really find it mega mega satisfying to play, which is why I put it on the 7th place.
bonus challenge. So far you've only seen the very best games of this gem, but I also like to show a couple of random games. Let's click the button. Uh, Mr. Squishy, okay, let's play it. Very nice, it looks nice. Ooh, ooh, I want the potion. It's strangely, I can only jump when I'm on top of a bush. Hardcore gamer mode activated. No! I... I clicked. I think I can't do it, but I, I like the art. I like the idea. <laughs> apple. Snake. Not like apple. Snake like sugar. Sugar bad for snake. I control the apple, not the snake. And I just gotta make sure the snake eats me before it eats the sugar. No, don't eat the sugar. Okay, so it's a little bit like a cleaning simulator and I can use my AIs to help me out. But like a little time management game, I like it. Clickety, 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 click. There's just no way to be unhappy about when you lose in this game. And we have one more task here. Wow, my number is... On my sixth place, I have Possess Court by Face Death Water. You once again get to be the sidekick for the main character. Only this time you're a ghost who can possess enemies. So you can beat your enemies with their own weapons or just walk them straight into the closest trap. Out of all of the gem games I tried this time, this was straight up my favorite being a sidekick experience. The gameplay mechanics are explored to a very satisfying degree and the difficulty and pacing were just right as well. Nice one. On the fifth place, I have Semi-Automated Shipping Company by Kai Pello, and this was my favorite programming game I played in this jam. You once again get to write your own AI, but what makes this so great is that puzzles still require some cooperation, even after you're done programming. So in this one, you kinda get to team up with your own creation, which is pretty cool. And it seems like you agree, because you voted this onto the third place, so even higher than I did, and it's well deserved. Great game. Ta-da! My favorite top-down shooter of the gem. Thus Apocalypse by Critical Kunic. We've seen this concept a couple of times in this gem. You're not the one who's doing the shooting. Your AI Roomba is. Now hold on, that's not entirely right, because in this one you shoot something, just not at the enemies. Your Roomba is a good Roomba. It just wants to clean up the trash. So if you want to go somewhere, you gotta put some trash there. The Roomba follows your trash. A very interesting input scheme, and I love it. It's super strategic and fun. There are a lot of different upgrades. At some point you get to choose between three different guns, and depending on which one you choose, the game just goes into a completely different direction and then you also gotta try to pick up the enemy fur and uh, it's just all so good well done if you're interested in ai and ai companions ai characters you gotta try my game will you snail you are a snail and i am a god capable of predicting every move you will make it's about an evil AI that tries to predict your movement. It's a short game, but I can promise it's a platformer game unlike anything you've played before. I can simulate entire universes. We're currently working on a level editor. It's available on Steam and on consoles. Which platforms the level editor will be ported to is still unclear. But either way, give it a go, it's still worth it. It's a great way to support my work and to allow me to make more videos and more games for you. All of the links you need are obviously in the description. Go around there and click them. Also, if your game made it into the top 10 of any category, you earned yourself a free will you snail key. Please reach out to me or the Will You Snail community management team. Okay, yeah, that thing is gonna gonna kill you, so you you wanna avoid it. That spike is too sharp. Stop touching it. That is a Will You Snail fan game or parody game or maybe both. It got some good ratings from the community, so I thought this is a good time to show it. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My co-worker is an idiot is another hilariously funny game. Or maybe it just struck a nerve with me, but I think it's so good. You and your co-worker are tasked to bring a plane of glass to a target location, and your AI-controlled co-worker just moves around completely randomly, completely messing everything up for you. It's a fine balance. It doesn't feel unfair, you still feel like you're in control, but at the same time your co-worker is also pulling you in all sorts of crazy directions that just don't make any sense. And of course, in the end, when you succeed, your co-worker gets all of the praise from the boss. This checks all of the boxes for me. It feels collaborative, it's funny, it's a unique concept, it looks polished. A game by Manikiana and it's a masterpiece. This game was voted onto the second place by the community and look at that, I agree. You have four buttons for playing chords and four buttons for singing. And as you play, slowly more and more of the band starts to reveal itself.
Music is the only universal language everybody understands and making music together is one of the greatest collaborations there is. You might not know who these robots are or where they came from, but you still get to interact with them in a way that feels meaningful. Even though this is just a silly little video game, you feel something when you play this. It's really funny and nothing special happens, it's a very short game but it's just so touching and wholesome in a way. This game is WAC Quartet by Joey. Buckle up, I think my favorite game will come as a bit of a surprise to you. It's Air Fight by Obelix. You're a little dot, you dash through enemies to destroy them, you have a flying platform companion, and that's it, I explained the entire game to you. What amazes me about this game is how much it accomplishes with how little. When you fall and your companion tries to catch you, that's something you usually just see in movies and it feels great to experience that yourself. And when your companion platform brings you into position for the perfect attack, then patiently wait till you've completed your mission, just to pick you back up right after. Like the emotional attachment I feel to this stupid platform is kinda ludicrous. If you could create an abstract version of an action movie, I feel like this would be it. Keep in mind this is only my personal subjective list, tell me in the comments which game you liked best. Big thank you to everybody who participated, you are just amazing because you helped me prove that AI can be more, way more than just a punching bag. Like I know it sounds weird, but I really do wanna make more AI friends in the future. Make it happen. <laughs>